Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. We are on video number five of the Magisterium, inter introducing the Nicolaitans. And um, once I get some more materials, if anyone is interested, um, I will have Zeet Zeets for sale. Um, all you have to do is get... Um, get some uh, um, safety pins so you can pin them to your clothing, um, pin them to the corners of your garments. Um, I made these yesterday. Um, this is the first set I've made, so I want to keep these. I just, um, I didn't realize I would need so much string, so I need to get some more material. Um, you just have to let me know whether you prefer cotton or nylon thread. Um, nylon thread, I guess, is easier to, easier to put in the wash without it getting um, ruined. So um, I might go with nylon next time, but this time I have uh, cotton threads. Um, if you prefer a different color than the color purple I used, I have other colors of purple as well in here. Um, I have a darker purple and a lighter purple. And then I have like a magenta looking purple. Um, I guess you can use red too because... Um, red and blue make purple so um so you can use red if you want or or like a magenta instead of using the purple okay now on to the lesson okay so learn the parable of the fig tree and then there is yod he u he and yod he u shin a yin on the top and then um right here the stone, the stone with Yahuwah in it. The name, the stone, the builders rejected. Okay, so learning the parable, learn the parable of the fig tree. When its branches bud and its leaves begin to sprout, you know that summer is near. Matthew Yahoo 24, 32. Both men and women are now actively spreading the true message, so let's encourage them to do so. Let the body of Yahusha work together. I am the vine, you are the Nazarene, Yehukanen 15.5. The stones are crying out the name the builders rejected long ago. When Yehusha comes, all complaining will cease, and we will, st will stand in awe at the sight of his wounds. We will understand that we, his own household, put them there. Eternal life and what Yahushua said about it involves abandoning everything taught by men and embracing the ways we've been taught to ignore and even abhor. The way of life is a light yoke, but overcoming the resistance of the world around us is our greatest obstacle. Following Yahushua draws persecution from the world, but those who endure to the end will be delivered. The information age is all around us. Yet most are drowning in the ignorance of the past. I felt it. Okay. How Torah became toxic. Antiochus Epiphan Epiphanes had attempted to eliminate all behavior associated with Yahuwah's Torah in the 2nd century BCE forcing the people to eat swine flesh, pork, or bacon, or pig, um, ignore the seventh day of rest, um, annual appointments, or even possessing and reading the scriptures. During the reign of the Vespasian, the Fiscus Judaicus, a Roman tax on those who practiced Yahuwah's commandments began in the first century after the destruction of the temple. In Jerusalem in 70 CE, when something is taxed, you get less of it. Constantine's edict in 321 and his creed expressed a vicious hatred of Yahuwah's instructions. And we will examine these later in this book. The Alexandrian culture became fixed at the Council of Nicaea in 2000 or no, in 225 CE under Constantine. If you're in this world breathing air, you are surrounded by people who have inhaled toxic teachings. Torah is a Hebrew word meaning teaching. It is identical in meaning to the Latin word doctrine. The question is, which Torah is toxic? It may be Yahuwah's Torah or men's Torah. 
but you should test which Torah you are hearing before you take it into your vessel, heart, or inner lamp. Commonly, the word Torah is translated into the English word law. We live in a highly deceptive world under the influence of an enemy called the dragon or serpent. The teaching or training we see conducted through those who appear pious are guiding the masses away from obedience to the Torah of Yahuwah. Some have been heard saying the Torah of Yahuwah is toxic faith. If one takes the perspective of the dragon, the Torah of Yahuwah would be toxic faith. If you follow Satan. Next time we will be reading Supersessionism and possibly the school master. Um, today I don't have as much time um, because uh, we are doing a live fellowship today. Um, we have one every day if you guys would like to join us. Um, it's going to be streaming on my channel and Sister Raz's channel and Sister Okari's channel and possibly Brother Robert's channel if, um, if he comes on today, which I, I hope he does. Um, now it is time to praise Yahuwah. Lately, Yahuwah has been blessing me through the Ruach with many new songs. And I've gotten some inspiration from some of Brother Robert's videos. Um, okay, here we go. Let me lead you. Rejoice and be glad in the land of the living. Absent in the body, staying present with the Most High. Have faith, depend on Him, and you can never go wrong. Hallelujah, praise Yahuwah, stay honest in word and in truth, cause the Most High is honest and true, Yahuwah is the word and it's the truth. He encourages me every day. Do not be absent-minded in the last days. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Yahuwah will lead you in paths of righteousness. I'll lead you through the valley, up the mountain to the castle. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I love you all with an everlasting love. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth.